Whew. So yeah, pretty busy week work-wise. Uh, a lot of projects on, which is always a good thing. Um, not a whole lot of time to play Pokemon Go, but last weekend on Sunday we had the community day number three, uh, which was Bob Bazaar. So we're going to see how we got on there, how many shinies we got, and uh, how we enjoyed the day as a whole. Uh, quite good. Uh, been on Sunday, so more thoughts on that shortly. But for now, let's get back to the shiny Bob Bazaars. So, as you can see, it took us 31 minutes to encounter our very first shiny Bobzar of the day. Um, not too bad. Uh, Gave me time to relax then for the rest of the event, so it was nice to get one down. We did decide to turn on AR Plus uh, to see how we got on, and um, in the excitement of it all, I just threw the ball straight, didn't even give it a berry. Um, bit of a risky move. Um, not really good at curveballs in AR Plus, so that's something I definitely need to practice. Freshly broke out, started to sweat a bit, and then of course made a silly mistake of just throwing the uh, straight ball again without a golden raspberry um, so I was probably pretty confident that I would catch it or catch a lot more during the day so as you see first one down uh, with two and a half hours to go so we're fairly hopeful that we would meet our target of catching five or maybe six of them we did catch five Pikachu and five Dratini so the target was five but hoping for six um, so I, I could be able to keep three and eleven Pokedex and uh, hopefully um, trade three more uh, in the near future so let's continue and see how many more we managed to catch during community day. So 
So we did a couple of laps of the town, managed to catch a couple more shinies and we bumped into a trainer who said there was a jolty on nearby at Yemi Barracks. It was clear weather at the time so we would have gotten a weather boost so we headed over there to do it. Fortunately just about failed on the first attempt, came very very close. Um, the other trainer managed to do it with 23-24 seconds left so it was quite impressive so congratulations to him. Um, we did uh, power up a crowd on hoping to uh, actually get it over the line. Unfortunately not, we probably needed about two or three more seconds. I should have probably powering up another ground on that stage. We've since done it, but we haven't got clear weather back. We've, I've tried it with windy weather, it came close again. Unfortunately, not able to manage it. He's here until the 2nd of April, so hopefully we'll get a couple more jolteons and a bit of a weather advantage to actually take it down. So here are the attempts anyway, and um, just a bit of a L for me, unfortunately, but um, oh well, good to try.
So, as you've just seen, we managed to catch six shiny Bobzars, which is fantastic. Uh, so we got to do two evolutions into Ivazar, which is beautiful, a Venusaur as well, and our Venusaur has Frenzy Plant. We also evolved a normal uh, Bobzar with Frenzy Plant, um, so that's fantastic. And he had 15 attacks, so uh, it's going to be pretty useful in the future. It um, overtakes Executor as one of the best current grass type uh, Pokemon, so that's brilliant news. Also, it's currently quarter to one at night and uh, tomorrow the big update drops. Well, we have the update on our phones, it's just a matter of nine to hit the switch uh, to give us quests. Um, so that's gonna be fantastic. So hopefully about 9 p.m. tomorrow night, I'll be able to turn it on, do a couple of quests, record it and uh, upload a video. So we'll see how we get on with that, but for now, some yogurt and then some sleep. So thanks man for watching and um, quests tomorrow. Be excited and uh, get out and play and um, keep me updated in the comment section. So, I'll talk to you and good night.